our meeting room out on Adobe Connect. Here we go. So we're just waiting for it to load up. I'm just going to. I was trying something else a minute ago, so I'm just going to cancel this off. start from this point here so okay so once we start off to the Orchard Park mentoring Adobe Connect site um, there's a couple of things we want to do first we want to make sure that our uh, we want to make sure that our webcam works and we want to make sure that our snowball microphone um, is connected and that it is indeed picking up the audio from this microphone and not from the microphone that's in the webcam itself and not from the microphone in your laptop or in your desktop because technically we have three microphones right now that the computer is going to want to use. So we have to tell it which one we want it to use. So let's make sure, first of all, that our computer is capable of running our webcam and our Snowball microphone and the uh, platform of Adobe Connect itself. So what we're going to do is go to Help, and we're going to click the Troubleshooting tab. I would suggest you do this right off the bat pretty much every time um, you launch it, and you will see that the... Um, the Adobe Connect uh, Pro um, troubleshooting uh, test will come up and it will go through a series of diagnostics um, trying to determine if your computer is capable of running the software and anything that you're trying to plug into it. So right now it is telling me that my flash player is supported, it's telling me that my connection is, uh, is uh, complete, it's now doing a speed test to make sure that um, our internet connection is suitable. Um, this doesn't work very well on dial-up, it really likes a nice broadband high-speed connection and then it's going to check to make sure that you have the add-in. If you need any of these, now my test came up fine, but if you need any of these, um, it will uh, prompt you to download the add-ins and just follow the instructions and it'll be all complete. You may need to restart your computer before you actually launch the meeting if it needs to do anything, so just watch out for that one. Okay, so we're going to go back to our meeting room. Everything seems to be a-okay at this point, so what we're going to do, I've already plugged in my webcam, I've already plugged in my, uh, my Snowball microphone. So I'm going to click the uh, left icon at the bottom of the camera and voice pod, and when I put my arrow over it, it says start my camera and voice. So I'm going to click this button, and it will launch the webcam. Okay, and a red light will come around the Logitech logo on the webcam itself saying that it is connected. So here I am. Anybody who comes to this website right now will see me. And this image is rather small, so we're going to want it to be a bit bigger. So we'll click the uh, Maximize Pod icon in the right side of the pod, and it will make it um, larger. So what we can do is, right now you can see our image is pretty good. That's because I've, uh, I've already done this, the settings. So what we need to do, though, is click uh, the Pod Options. It looks like a little gear at the bottom right corner of the pod and it is going to give us a series of options. Right now it's on portrait. Just to show you what they look like, if I was to click standard, okay, it kind of stretches my image out a bit, and if I put it on landscape, okay, it goes basically to full widescreen. So it depends on how you want your image to be shown. If you're gonna have uh, two schools showing at the same time in uh, split screen, you're probably gonna wanna use portrait so that it's, uh, there's enough room on either side for more people to come in. If you find that your image is pixely or somewhat blurry like this, okay, it's because it's set to fast images. And what that means is that the refresh rate is much quicker, um, just allowing for a, for a faster connection, but the image is not going to be very nice. So what you're going to want to do is click that pod options and make sure you're on high quality images and it will crispen the picture right up. Okay, so that's for the webcam component. I'm going to click the uh, minimize or restore pod icon in the top of the pod. So now we know that we have video, but we don't necessarily know if we have audio, or if we have the audio coming from where we want it to come from. So what we need to do to verify that is to go up to the Meeting tab at the top of the screen, go to Manage My Settings. Okay. Right now, I'll just uh, walk you through it. My connection speed at the top, it says Local Area Network. Um, you could play with some of these if you find your connection isn't working. Uh, your default is probably going to be fine. But for the purposes of the microphone, go to Audio Setup Wizard, and it's going to walk you through a bit of a tutorial. So it is really nice and user-friendly. Click the Next tab, and it's going to test our speakers to make sure that we can hear what the other person is saying. Feel free to dance. It's a nice little groovy tune. We know that works, so we'll click Next. Now it's going to want us to pick our microphone. So if you use the drop-down menu, you'll see that there are three microphones to choose from. 
we have the uh, Connexon HD audio input. That's the microphone in the computer itself. We have the USB audio device. This is the microphone in the Logitech camera. So you don't need to use the Blue Snowball microphone. If it's just you one-on-one -on -one with somebody else, just use the one that's in the webcam. But since we're talking about uh, picking up the audio and the conversations from a classroom or from a wider group of students, we're going to want to use the microphone like the Blue because it offers that 360 dimension um, audio intake. So what we're going to do is choose Blue Snowball from the options, click Next, and then it's going to ask us to test our microphone. So what you want to do is click Record and read the uh, phrase on the screen. I can see the recording bar is moving and my microphone is working properly. Click Stop, and then you can play it back. Now it's really quiet because I don't have external speakers hooked into this microphone and we're definitely going to want to put external speakers in um, for the conference itself. So I did hear it, I know that it's working, so I'm going to click next. Now it wants to detect background noise. So if I was in a room that was really loud, it wants to kind of gauge for you if there's any background noise. So you can click test silence. You have to be quiet like that while it runs or I can't test the silence. Okay, so the test is complete. So I click next and it says that it's all finished. Everything's all ready to go. I can do some advanced settings if I would like to. Okay, but really we don't need to touch any of this. So just hit cancel and hit finish. And you're done. Okay, so we have now hooked up our webcam. We have now hooked up our uh, snowball microphone. We know that the audio is picking up because we have a little speaker with the little um, audio waves coming out of it. We can see our image and everything is all ready to go and we're set for the students to come in here and start to chat. And then um, we can also share, share our screen as in this instance it says, what do you want to share? I could go out and I can select PowerPoints or images from my computer and then we can talk about them together as a class. Okay, so that's your hookup tutorial for your Logitech 720p webcam and your Blue Snowball microphone for the Orchard Park mentoring process. Look forward to working with all of you. This is going to be very exciting for the students.